Well, good day, my friends. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion. How are you all doing today? I hope you said great. I'm doing great, and we are coming to you from Sarasota, Florida. I have a couple of ideas of things that I want to go do today, and we'll just kind of figure it out as we go. First thing, though, I want to take Ja somewhere to get his little legs running, get him out doing something, get him out playing with his buddies, having fun, hitting a park or something. So let's do that first. Days with Jordan the Lion and the Joster begins now. All right, before we take off to start our day, Jaws got his time where he can pee and do whatever he wants. How you doing, Joster? You ready to go have some fun? Pretty much the king of every dog park he goes to. Actually, on second thought, I don't think Jaws gonna get to come with us on the vlog today because I had one thing in mind and changed my mind and we're gonna go to somewhere special for lunch. And since he can't go in there, I think we're gonna go ahead and leave him in the room and then uh, meet up with him afterwards. Is there anything good in there? Been sniffing around there quite a bit. Snort, snort. How you doing, Joster? Let everybody see your beautiful face. All right. He's got his own life to live. Yeah, for some reason, I always have had like a fascination with the circus. I think probably when I was a kid, it was because what they were doing was so extraordinary. I mean, it was like it, you just couldn't imagine anybody being able to be a trapeze artist or do the things with like the animals and the training and everything that they did so i was always fascinated by that and then you know years ago barnum and bailey ringling brothers they, they all quit using animals for the most part in their circuses and so it's kind of a dying art form and when i saw that this place existed where we're going today it's in sarasota florida i was like you know what this sounds great we're actually going to go to a place called bob's train and it has a bit of a circus theme. I think you'll really enjoy this. My map has guided me to here. And it says to make a left around this building. Oh wow, if you are not looking for it, you would never stumble upon this. There it is, there's Bob's Train. So Bob's Train is actually a roadside restaurant. You can see they have another train back here for some overflow, but it's actually four full train cars that make up this restaurant. And the interiors are all circus photos you enter right up here I believe but I love that this is such a big restaurant it goes all the way down there Monday through Friday 11 a.m. to 2 Sunday 1030 to 2 so not open on Saturdays but they've used some of the Sarasota Suncoast Railroad train cars. Let's go on in. I found this on one of those essential roadside eatery sites. Take a look at that. All kinds of old circus pictures and stuff. I love the way it's decorated. I'm going to sit right here. Each table has a lantern. This was all started by a man named Bob Horn. Look out for car sharks and con men. 
So here's our menu, lots of salads and sandwiches. Grilled pre and berry sandwich, that looks pretty good. Ham Reuben, kielbasa. Look at the salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> They're train cars on tracks. <laughs> of course, a lot of burgers. It's pretty good. So in the further cabooses, there's more seating and a full museum in there. But I love that they're showing video of the circus while you're in here eating. Isn't that cool? Like old home movies. So I was learning a little bit more about this place. These are all four that we saw, all the train cars, are old Ringling train cars. This was actually the performer's train car. This was a hallway right here, and where all the windows were, they would have had bunk beds for the performers. This would have been a performer traveling sleeping car. Minnie Mouse, <laughs> Esther Williams. of pictures all oh, the Melinda's yeah you know it's crazy when I was driving here I noticed we're not really that far from where the Melinda's house was all these great circus acts Carl Linares Ron Pam Perry right there the Brewskis and the whole thing, isn't that great? The whole thing is just filled with memorabilia. And it's all heavily documented too. Look here. Marlena Dietrich. 1953. There's Babe Ruth. Was the Yankees used to have spring training down here. Signed pictures by Lou Jacobs really really famous clown in the circus Paul Jerome WC Fields and I pulled the door back and look at that Rudy Bundy that's also Rudy Bundy John Ringling Hotel this is so cool Dino <laughs> This is really amazing. Cab Calloway. What a treat while you're eating. Hey, there's Burgess Meredith right there. Young Burgess Meredith. Here's the kitchen. And then I think they said there was more seating back here. It is. Rudy Bundy right there. As we make it even further back, look at this room. How cool is this? John Ringling. Big picture of John Ringling. Yeah, of course, the Ringling House is here in Sarasota. John and Mabel Ringling House. What a cool way to eat. P.T. Barnum. And there's Ringling again. So this is interesting. This is a picture of Rudy Bundy and John Ringling and it says official photo of circus sale and gold fountain pen. Gold fountain pen is right there. 
used by John Ringling to sign important papers. Note letter from attorney explaining this presented by Rudy Bundy. And it says Rudy Bundy pin on it. Now let's see if when we go out and make a left, if it goes any further back. Tons more photos. And yes, it does go further back. Wow. Like a whole other restaurant. Wow. Carla Walenda. Oh, and there's that, um, oh yeah, we saw his, uh, we saw his lion, they had the lion he used, or that he performed with in the circus taxidermied in a vintage store in Plant City. Wow. They did not leave one side of any of the train cars without memorabilia. That's amazing. What dedication. I love it. No matter where you're seated. And I've seen several of these throughout the restaurant, so it looks like those are all famous people's hands that are were performers and that they sign the inside of it. All right, this is the very last train car. And <laughs> wouldn't be complete without a piano back here, right? Now let's go see if our food's ready. I went ahead and ordered. This is just so cool. <laughs> so inventive. Tamara. John Ringling and Flo Ziegfeld. Just taking my time working our way back. Yeah, it looks like the kitchen is right in the middle of the second train car. It's cool. There's people all over checking out all of these. Like in every train car, appreciating it the way we are. So I went ahead and got a coffee and an orange juice, even though it's <laughs> 1 p.m. And you don't even have to eat here. They're totally cool with you just coming in and looking around through all the train cars and the history and stuff. You don't have to feel like you're forced to eat here. But their food did get really good reviews online, so... I think it'll be worth it. So I ended up ordering, just because it looks so different, the grilled brie and berry sandwich. So sliced brie with blackberry, blueberry, and red raspberry. It just got dropped off, and as soon as it hit the table, it, I mean, I just got a waft of the smell. It smells so good. I'm not usually a chip or a fry person, but those chips are amazing. Those are like the homemade style. All right, here we go. That is so good. Oh, dude, that is better than I ever expected. 
That is just a perfect sandwich. I'm loving that so many people are here eating. There's at least like five tables here. I mean, for as out of the way as it is, and for a place that you have to really know where you're looking for, they have pretty good business. She was saying that Bob Horn, who is the man that we saw in some of the pictures, he married into this. He was like, a, he married the chairman of Ringling's daughter. And so he ended up traveling and doing a lot of this. So this is his project. He did all the work inside the train cars. He's working on the first one now because that was the private railroad car for John and Mabel Ringling. He's doing a little bit of a fundraiser here where he sells paintings to try and raise money to restore that. I'll show you a little bit more of that. But what a story about this place, huh? Turned it into a restaurant so you could save the cars. So now you know all of those windows were where people used to sleep and they were saying if your kid wasn't a performer the kid couldn't come there wasn't enough room for sleeping it also said right over here above the counter that's one of the old trapeze bars and ropes from around world war ii era <laughs> So we were able to walk through three of the restored cards, but the very first one with his sign on it, that's the one that is the one he's working on now, so nobody's allowed in it. Here's a picture of what it looked like when they first got it, 1916. And then when he found it, and then what it looks like as of now, but he's still working on the inside. So, if you donate money towards the art or towards the project, it all goes to a good cause and he throws in some free prints of his artwork. And these are his artwork that he's selling. and they get to watch circus rehearsal. Yeah. Becoming a clown. Now that was a lunch. That was fantastic. What a great roadside stop. This stuff is great, look at that. What a place. Well, by gosh, we just ate lunch in a Ringling Brothers train car. What stories these train cars could tell, right? They said they've been in business as a restaurant for 16 years and that this is what they're working on now. A couple of tips I would give you is uh, they quit taking orders at 1.30, so get here before then. Give yourself plenty of time to walk around and look. Joe Mar, that's it. That's the John and Mabel Ringling. That was their private car. Give yourself plenty of time to look at all the memorabilia. I didn't show it all because on camera it can be a little bit much, but it was an absolute education into the circus. There were people there I'd never heard of and Really cool to learn more about it. They don't do commercials or anything like that. And since it's so far off the beaten path, they said that they're basically all 100% word of mouth. Or if like a local news channel does a story on them. So now that you know about it, if you're in the area, bring your family here and blow their minds with this place. I love that this kind of history is still out here and that there are people like Bob who are restoring it and turning it into something else, giving it a future life after its original life. Mm -hmm.